I think everybody's heard the news, and I just want my opening statement is that that this is one of the most talented teams that has ever been assembled by the New York Jets. I want to give this team, I wanted to give this team the most opportunity to win this this season. I feel that we had to go in a different direction, and that's why I did that today. Uh, this change, the change that we made today, that I made, um, I believe will bring new energy and positivity that will lead to more wins uh, starting now. I want to get. I want to say, which I've said earlier to the to some of the members of the um, the leadership team um, that represents the players, how proud I am of this team, this specific team, this year, and excited about what could happen and what will happen, uh, particularly given these changes that we've made today. So, as I don't know if this has been reported, but we've taken the defensive uh, uh, the defensive um, coach, Jeff Ulbrich, and made him the interim head coach. I've seen him coach, and I know the relationship he has with the players, and they respect him. They trust him. I've seen it at halftime, and I've seen it in practice. When he talks, they listen to him in a way that probably represents the fact that he did play the sport as linebacker for 10 years, which is pretty uh, unique. So he brings that knowledge and the respect and the, the knowledge to, to the game in a way that I think that will, will be very good for the players going forward. You know, when I take a look at this team and, uh, you know, I've been doing this for 25 years now. This is probably the best team I've had in 25 years. I just fed, felt that the best way to go forward is with a new direction and, and taking Jeff Albrecht and making him the interim head coach, I thought that would get the most out of this team and give us the best chance that we all want to all want to have, which is going to the playoffs. Well, I did talk to him the night before, but we didn't discuss this, you know, specifically at all. I mean, we were basically talking about the, the previous game and, you know, his breaking 60,000 yards, 60,000 yard record and accomplishing that. And uh, sorry, he got hit so many times and, uh, and that, and how was he feeling? And uh, so, no, in terms of whether I was going to do it or not, no, we didn't discuss that. Well, you know, we didn't have this team last season, but we've got we've got a, an unbelievable team, as I said earlier, and it just felt like the right decision to make at this time. So I made the decision to, to do it. Now, uh, it's something, you know, Tom. When you make a decision like this, it's not an easy decision. This this required a lot of soul searching, and you know, looking back at my. I experience in sports and uh, particularly with the New York Jets for 25 years. And so I took it, I took, uh, I took it very seriously. And that's why I made the decision because I, I thought it, I thought and think that it's going to make us uh, more competitive and it's going to help us reach the goals that uh, the team and I want to, I want to accomplish. How do we improve the offense? I think one of the reasons that I decided to make a coaching change at the highest level here is exactly that we need to find ways to win and so we're not going to do it we're not going to find those ways by doing the same thing over and over and over so i think that jeff is going to add something he's going to add a spark of positivity and and all that that goes with somebody and the and the trust that the players have in somebody that's been through it and they they know and that they respect and they know that's reciprocal and those changes that we have to make on offense, we'll make. You know, we're going to make them on offense, and we're going to make it on defense. We're going to try to get better. And so, this is a, this is a new this is a new opportunity for all of us. And so that's why I decided to do that today. I did talk to Joe Douglas about it, but in the end of the day, this was my decision, and my decision alone. And. You know, I've had enough experience doing these things. Uh, it's the first time I've done it this early, but I thought 
you know, once again, I thought and think that this will will help the team, uh, help this talented team achieve the goals that it, the, the team wants and that I want and the fans want. Okay. Well, I think we, yeah, we're going to make changes wherever changes are due. We know, we know where we're weak and why we're strong. And so do you, you can see it every week. And so we are going to make uh, the changes that enable us to give these fabulous players on both sides of the ball, the chance to win. And we know that, uh, we know that we have to make some improvements and changes here. That is sure. And Jeff, uh, although I just I haven't had a chance to talk to him too much today because he's uh, quickly morphing into being the head coach, which is, a, which is a pretty sizable transition for for him, which I think he's more than capable of handling. By the way, and so yeah, offense offense has been certainly. It's been a challenge, more than a challenge, and I think it's uh, something that we, that I'm sure he'll be focusing on. What is your take on why the Hassan Reddick situation has not worked out? Rich, this is I would rely on you for this. This is uh, something I've never seen before, you know. And you've got a, you've got even more years than I have, and I know you've never. I don't think any of us have seen anything like this. So. I think you have to be part psychologist and part uh, some other just, you know, to f try to figure out what what is actually going on. I think, um, you know, I hope that the young man can come to the team. We'd like to have Assam here. We'd welcome him with open arms. And, uh, you know, I will ex extend that. And I, I, I haven't uh, talked to Jeff, but I think he would feel exactly the same way. So when he gets here, he'll find a very welcome locker room and he'll be able to fit right in, but he's got to get here first. So, Assam, get in your car, drive down 95 and come to the New York Jets and we can, we can meet you and give you an escort right into the building and you'll fit right in and you're going to love it here and you're going to feel welcome and, uh, and you're going to accomplish great things with us.